Ahead of the launch of the OnePlus 8 and OnePlus 8 Pro in two weeks' time, OnePlus has confirmed a number of key details around the upcoming smartphones. The company talks about the new system on chip, the faster display, and the improved memory and storage technology. First up is the use of 5G in the upcoming handsets. This was something expected, not least because the Snapdragon 865 does not have an integrated modem unlike the 8XX models in recent years, so it ships to manufacturers with the X50. 5G modem if you're going to go with Qualcomm's top-of-the-line chip you're going to have 5G capable circuitry while OnePlus had already confirmed that 5G across the board earlier this year as the handsets approach their public launch and availability it is one that bears reinforcing your new OnePlus handset will have the new 5G also being reinforced is the faster refresh on the screen last year as OnePlus handsets moved up to a 90Hz refresh rate and a faster response to touch earlier this year. Year. OnePlus discussed its plans for a 120Hz screen without explicitly saying it was for the 8 series of phones that's been confirmed as well. The final big ticket item is another technical note with OnePlus noting its use of LPDDR5 for RAM and UFS 3.0 for flash storage. Both of these are steps forward in terms of speed for the user and should offer more efficiency to aid battery life. Timing is of course everything with OnePlus launching its new handsets on April 14th. Naturally online it's setting out the building block of the story in advance focusing on a veritable avalanche of three-letter acronyms, TLAs, allows the Shizen based company to talk about and explain the technical details to its own community and the tech press. As we get closer to the launch date I'm expecting OnePlus to talk about more populist features safe in the knowledge that the Geekarati have already picked up the finer details of the chips and specifications in the upcoming handsets more the OnePlus 8 looks a bit different from its predecessor the OnePlus 7 which itself only looked slightly different from its own predecessor the OnePlus 6T the rear camera system is arranged in the same fashion with a centered vertically aligned bump however a third lens is added which is a nice upgrade on the front the water drop notch is gone instead OnePlus appears to be going the punch hole route by adding a single selfie lens as a cutout in the upper left corner. We already have seen leaked renders for all three of the rumored devices in the OnePlus 8 family. The first leaks came from reliable source partners Cash Curl and 91 Mobiles. Later leaks came from a few other reliable sources and they reiterate what we saw early on as such. We are confident that these renders give us a very good idea of what the OnePlus 8, OnePlus 8 Pro and OnePlus Z will look like. The OnePlus Z though is more of a wild card. At first we thought the device would be called the OnePlus 8 Lite but known leaker Max Max Weinbach claimed this budget-friendly device could be called the OnePlus Z. Tipster Ishan Agarwal backed up this information also claiming it will tout the Z moniker. This is a bit earlier than previous generation's release dates. The OnePlus 7 and OnePlus 6 both landed in May and the OnePlus 5 landed in June. So far there's been no indication that the company will change up its usual naming scheme so we can be relatively assured that the series will include the OnePlus 8 and its higher-end sibling the OnePlus 8 Pro. Over we are looking forward to see the new lunch in two weeks time but, for then sub will be awesome. Thanks for watching and see you on my next video.